Well, an early morning start this morning um, up at Lamington National Park at O'Reilly's. Um, I've only been up here once before, but it was a, a long, long time ago. I don't even remember the drive up here. Um, and this is the entrance to the park, just behind me here. And um, this one's called the Border Walk, and it goes on to the box circuit, which has Alabama Falls, and um, I think there's a couple other falls on there as well. Never been to them before, so really looking forward to it. Got the camera and the GoPro, so hopefully we can get some nice videos and photos of this place around here. Anyway, here we go. Wow, look at this spot right here. I'm just gonna turn around. What a lovely little path through here. It's pretty incredible, really. Look at that behind me there. I don't know if you can see down that path. Just come up here right at sunrise. Uh, left about 4.30 this morning and sun's just coming up behind us here. So hopefully we get to the falls before basically the sun comes up and uh, gets into where the waterfalls are and it ruins the shot a little bit. And when you're out of the sun, direct sun, this lovely even light and not a breath of wind around here at the moment. Very quiet too. You can hear the lyre birds. They're uh, doing their chirping and singing. Some beautiful looking like, ferns and stuff around here. Such a, a lush forest. bit of sun within this tree here. Look at it. Magnificent looking tree. I reckon my auntie Ellie, she would love this area and my sister Jackie. They all love the bushwalking experience. And this is something else. Look at the colours in this tree, the greens, the red and orange bark. And it's just so lush after all the rains. Birds chirping everywhere. Wow, this behind me here, this incredible tree is just one of the most amazing things you could ever see. There's this root system down the bottom and it just grows out of the ground like it just seems to keep going up and up and up and it's just a marvellous thing to look at. It really is a beautiful sight that tree and just spoke to a gentleman. Apparently this is a really nice walk, it goes right round, it's a 17 kilometre round trip if you want to take it and goes through a whole bunch of waterfalls and beautiful tracks, I don't think I'll do that today. <coughs> but um, 
I thought uh, Curtis Wolves was nice, but this is even better. This is something else. This is something really special through here. You really have to come through and enjoy this area through Lamington National Park. And um, yeah, this this walk down to the waterfalls is unbelievable. I, I've never stopped so many times to take photos and videos. It's just such a beautiful area. Finally made it to the falls, but I've made it looks like to the top part of the pool, so I can't actually see what it looks like from down the bottom there yet. Um, there's, there's a really like there's a lot of very small waterfalls around here, which make uh, for interesting photography with the GoPro because I can get nice and close into these little streams. Uh, I can turn around and show you what it's like here. kind of daunting in some ways because right behind you here you've got the water slippery rocks and it goes straight over the edge there so it feels a little bit how you're doing that uh, if you slip you could get in, into trouble I've already tried going into one waterfall and fell over a route and basically came a copper and hurt my knee it wasn't fun uh, I'm just gonna come up under here so you can see up there Great little waterfall coming through here. Comes down. As I said, there's the slippery rocks. And you get into that, and you're over that edge. It just goes straight over. You can hear the roar now. We're just heading into Alabama Falls. And we clear over the edge there, you'll be able to see some of the water coming down the, uh, the creek. So you can certainly hear the falls now. Hopefully we're in for a bit of a treat. There's a lot of water coming over it. Maybe too much for a decent photo, to be honest. And I've never been here before, so. I'm looking forward to seeing what it looks like.
Well, this is probably one of the most spectacular places I've ever been to. This waterfall here, I think it's called Box Log Waterfall. It's stunning. And look, look at the scenery behind there. It's just incredible. Like the light coming through, the archway of the trees, or the water running through. And I turn around this way. The waterfall over the back here. Boring. Fantastic. Oh my god, that that was beyond spectacular, that was phenomenal. Do come here, you have to come to the Lamington National Park and do these walks uh, and come to see these waterfalls. This is one of the best walks I've ever done in my life. Like I, I, I've lived in Tasmania, Tasmania has got some incredible places to visit, but this is beyond spectacular. Well, I'm looking forward to getting back to the car. This last part of the track has been quite challenging. Uh, the, the tracks are still very wet, and I'm kind of surprised they haven't actually closed them. I actually went over one part of the track where part of the actual uh, path gave way, and I slid a couple of meters down the embankment. Thank goodness uh, there was rocks in that to stop me. But um, yeah, like I said, it's a bit of a challenging track, this one, when it's wet, slippery, muddy, You've got to climb over wet rocks, uh, across streams as well with the rocks very slippery. So if you do come through here, be very prepared, have good shoes, have good fitness. But it certainly is well worth it. It's one of the most incredible experiences and beautiful places I've ever been to. Well, that's something I didn't want to see. The red belly. Whew. That's got the heart going. 